as we know e-learning is rapidly turning as the face of education in the world of technology odo as a single solution for all your business problems has come up with the enhanced e-learning in the odo version 13 earlier e-learning in odo 12 was available as lights module which is revamped into e-learning module in version 13 it provides an opportunity for creating courses online further enabling the visitors to join and complete their course in accordance with the rules configured while creating the course so now let's see how does the e-learning module work in odo 13 one can uh, install the e-learning module from apps here uh, i have already installed you can see now let's directly go to the module uh, this module provides an interesting dashboard as you can see here for the user who is currently logged into the website showing several details such as status of the course uh, and which he joined badges he acquired rank and other profile information Uh, also we have uh, a couple of courses here in e learning and with e learning so now let's jump into a course here uh, you can specify the course title below that uh, we have the option content uh, and you can see different types of contents and the types that is presentation infographic etc and also we have uh, the description of the course here and we we also have some smart buttons in the top uh, in contents uh, here you can see how many pieces of contents are in this also if you mailed any attendees you can see here and how many people have uh, been engaged with this course and how many reviews are left here that basically all those slides uh, so uh, here you can see a basically all those slides kind of format that you can see and here we have the piece of contents that uh, you can see here you can see the uh, piece of contents also we have the description and the options of this course uh where uh, we can specify the type of this course whether it is a documentation or training and you can also set the responsible person for this course and you can choose the website uh, uh, which belongs to uh, this course and here you have the access rights uh, you can specify uh, whether this course is for a uh, public or invitation Uh, or on invitation or on based on the payment so uh, now let's go into a piece of content um, okay let's edit okay so here we can specify the title of the content uh, and also you can uh, specify some tags here so people can search so easily based on this tags and here you can specify the course uh, itself uh, and also the type of the course whether it is a presentation document or video and if it is a video you can specify the document url and also the duration uh, and if it is uploaded by uh, any person you can uh, select here the uploaded person and also we have the description uh, and external links and the quizzes and the statistics can be shown here uh, so let's save the content okay let's change the type so that's all about the content so uh, now let's go into the contents uh, that is we can see the contents under courses Uh, here you can see the contents as you see here uh, i am just showing you all the different contents so these are uh, similar to the products in odo and uh, uh, you can see uh, types of each content here 
and the duration uh, and also the uh, how many people have viewed and if there are any question we can see here uh, in the contents so now we have the reviews and users can send reviews in the front end uh, by using rating so that are shown here and also we have uh, certifications for uh, different courses we can also create uh, different certifications from here and in forum we have different e-learning forums uh, like uh, help uh, basics of gardening uh, such as we have we can also create new e-learning forums and the e-learning forum post can be shown uh, here uh, e-learning forum post can be seen here and uh, in reporting we have a reporting of courses contents revenues reviews quizzes forum certification that are similar to all other modules in order uh, and in configuration you can see course tags and the content tags uh, that uh, uh, we are using by creating a course and the content uh, that we have already discussed so we can uh, create uh, from here the course tags and also the content tags and finally we have the settings of e-learning module so we have uh, the options for mailing certification sell on e-commerce uh, that is uh, these options are available in the e-learning module only after we check on these um, options uh, and if we want to co uh, sell any course in e-commerce we can uh, check here so save the settings so that's how e-learning module in order 13 works uh, and uh, after installing the e-learning module we can see the courses options in the website uh, let's see how it is so let's go to the website So here you can see the uh, option uh, courses and here uh, you have all the courses uh, that we have discussed in the e-learning module. Uh, so and that's about the e-learning module in Auto 13 and thank you for watching. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.